Sony has launched its new soundbar in the Indian market, that is Z9F, which is priced at 59,990. And the newly launched soundbar is available across all Sony center and e-commerce portal. Meanwhile, we had a word with its MD, Sunil Nair, regarding the company's upcoming launches, its market share and future strategies. So, stay tuned. Sunil, please tell us about the product you have launched today. So, today we are extremely excited. We launched uh, our premium soundbar, uh, Z9F we call it. This completes our portfolio of Dolby Atmos products in India. And uh, Z9F is a very, very special soundbar and it comes with the you know all the host of features uh, uh, which delivers the best most cinematic experience to our indian households yeah and uh, what about the price uh, we will be launching it at uh, 59990 almost 60000 rupees as a standalone product and then we will we will have the uh, the speakers uh, which will enable a 5.1 channel experience to the consumer, which will be sold at around 10,000 rupees. Okay. What are your plans for to affordable products and all? So we launched, uh, you know, a uh, product called X8500, HTX8500, uh, another soundbar with, uh, with also Dolby Atmos technologies. This came in a single soundbar and this we launched a couple of months back. Yeah, at the at the price point of thirty thousand rupees, okay. so that you can call it like kind of you know uh, most affordable soundbar with Dolby Atmos. Okay. So with this now Sony completes the most comprehensive and you know complete range of Dolby Atmos soundbars in Indian market, which we did not used to have before. Okay. So this is our kind of first time to launch three you know, uh, super strong products in different price brackets and segments. You are looking at 50% market share in that particular segment. You are banking on what? Then you are more and more launches? The, the very unique best in class products okay. which deliver the best value to the consumer, the most enriching cinematic sound experience to the consumers and that's what our soundbars are capable of and will deliver and we will ensure that we we showcase this kind of demo experience at the stores to the shop friends and to our customers and uh, basically tell them that you know they 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 experience this kind of a sound when they go to let's say cinema theaters like pvr today and experience that dolby wholesome you know experience of dolby atmos this they can do it now in their living room with sony soundbars okay. You have, you have mentioned about the 50% market share looking at. In the overall, the mid and the high end, in the affordable or just an affordable segment? No, all. All, all sound bars put together. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And what else we can expect from you in 2019? I think we we just launched today as I as we just uh, you know unveiled Z9 I and I, I cannot I cannot you know of course tell you now but yeah in due course Sony will continue to bring a very you know state of the art revolutionary cutthroat you know technology products in soundbars and uh, we will continue to evolve and you know how much in this market you have in, premium segment? in 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 that sense uh, yeah i think we are a dominant player in okay. in india okay. as far as more premium no 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 much more much, much more, more much more than that and what about the affordable segment you'll be focusing on affordable now from this so so i'll tell you very concretely how the segment will look like so we sell non dolby atmos soundbars mm -hmm. from in the in the range of let's say 17 18000 rupees onwards till 35 40000 okay. this is you know like 2.1 3.1 mm -hmm. 5.1 channel soundbars so this will continue to be there and this is expanding the expanding the market in india because everybody is moving now to soundbars here we are also very dominant player and we are more than 50% of the market so this is one set of okay. soundbar now we have the Dolby Atmos enabled soundbars. So we have a starting point of X8500, mm -hmm. you know, which we launched a couple of months back. That's 30,000 rupees. Okay. That's an all-in-one soundbar. That's for people on the go who want to have a very quick, you know, connectivity, no, you know, hassle-free environment, no wires, nothing, and very good reproduction of sound and kind of very nice cinematic experience. Then we have a Z9F which we launched today, which is sixty thousand rupees. This delivers the best in class quality, in, you know, when, as far as you know, cinematic experience is con uh, concerned. And then we have the one lakh plus ST five thousand, which gives you the kind of you so know that's the, the premium yeah, segment. That's the premium segment. So in that sense, Dolby Atmos I can categorize as the premium segment mm -hmm. in that sense. Mm -hmm. So we have three lineup there. And I can say I don't have a number right now, but I, I can comfortably tell you that we will we should be the 
uh, very dominant brand in India. And uh, you know, by launching in future, we'll launch more products to How even in uh, to 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 expand this market. How you know. Many more products? many more products which segment contributes more to your business like affordable and the mid medium segment or the a premium segment so of course the affordable and the medium is large chunk of the business because that's a bigger base of the customer and more volume but the premium segment is also taking a very good shape in terms of growth that's the growth which is happening you know that, that that's the maximum growth in the premium segment we are witnessing right now and from which part of the country is doing good for sony when come to sound across india across india, across india. And this Everywhere. product will be available online and offline both? Uh, yes, both. Online and offline, which is doing good for Sony? Uh, actually, uh, in, in relative terms, both of them are doing very good. Mm -hmm. Both the channels are growing nicely. But in absolute volume terms, of course, offline is you know, so you have much bigger. So you have stores also, right? So we have Sony centers, yeah. our own stores, so, okay. uh, which are around 250 odd stores we have in the country, okay. which showcase the entire range of Sony portfolio, including televisions, audio products, headphones, di digital imaging products. And then we have the multi-brand channels, wherein we have the you know the the national retailers, the regional retailers, the multi-brand counters. We have our distribution channel, which is very very strong. Mm -hmm. So I think a complete channel mix Sony has. And then of course, needless to say, a, you know very very strategic channel which is online which is increasing you know tremendously for us uh, 250 stores your own right yeah yeah do you plan to increase it uh not necessarily we are you know we are so stable yeah we are comfortable so those stores are nicely located very strategically you know located i would say and uh, they are they are they're spread across yeah. tier one tier two tier three and then most of them are you know doing pretty well and uh, showcasing the best of sony in the country which actually no retailer can can do it for us you know that's all from our side for today keep watching this one and thank you so much